Hi all. Today we are going to discuss the topic principal component analysis. Principal component analysis is a feature extraction method used to reduce the dimension of a data set. In the previous video we have discussed about dimensionality reduction and it's one of the method called subset selection. Subset selection is a feature selection method in which a subset of features is selected for learning. Now let us see whether subset selection is always a good method or not and then we will move to principal component analysis. Here you can see a scatter diagram of a data set. This data set is having two features. One is height and second one is weight. So this is a two dimensional data. Now suppose we want to reduce this two dimension to one dimension. In the subset selection method, we select either one of the feature. Either we select height as an input variable or we select weight as an input variable. Suppose if we choose height as the input variable, let's see how all these data points are projected to uh, x axis. This is how each data points are projected on x axis. You can see that some data points are very close when it projected on x axis. That is you can see that these two data points are very close on x axis. That These three data points are very close here. So it is very difficult to classify these data points. Okay. So now let's consider the case if we select the feature weight only. That is we are going to omit height. So you can see that if we weight matra consider all the data points projected on y axis like this. Okay. So here also you can see that some data points are very close to each other. So it is very difficult to classify. Okay. That is if we consider only one information and omit other information, we cannot clearly classify these data points. Okay. Now, in any direction, these data points are projected. We can classify them See, here, in any direction, these data points are wide and spread. This is the direction. That is, x axis direction. We can classify them as wide spread. That is, this is the direction. X axis in the data point spread day that can be Y axis led we can see that itre ullu y axis le data point spread day that can Okay, in either direction lana, a to long at a little a to wide at e data point spread day that can either direction lana. We can see that in this direction, right? E direction. That is e direction lana. Namada e data points na high variance all high variance in data points wide spread data that means variance of data points is maximum in this direction. Okay, you can easily see that. That is data points are spread. Okay, so in this direction it is having maximum variance. So we select this direction. And E direction, E line ne first principal component. That is the line having maximum variance of data point is called first principal component. And E first principal component ne perpendicular right or the direction on second principal component. That is the line which is having maximum variance of data points is called the first principal component and the line orthogonal or perpendicular to the first principal component is called second principal component. Okay. Now let us see if we select first principal component that is in this direction if we project all these data points whether we can classify this. See here this point is uh, will be projected here 
this point will be projected here likewise all the data points are somewhat far apart that is maximum variance ulla oru line choose edittu aa line lotu ella data points ne project cheyuvanengil namukku data points oru vaadu close aayittu varthilla if in this line we can project all the data points individually okay now let us see how to find this line ee oru line engena kandupidikkune that is initially nammude data set was a two dimensional data set edike irunnu two dimension height and weight now we are going to reduce this dimension to one appo ingena reduce cheyumbo we need to select a line which line we need to select we are going to select this line which is having maximum variance that is first principal component okay okay va height um weight um ee rendu feature maatiittu nammal first principal component ennu parayna line lotu ee data points ne project cheyan povu so we need to find first principal component how to find adinu vendiyana principal component analysis enna method use cheyunnathu now let us see procedure for finding the first principal component uh, second principal component etc so that is procedure for performing principal component analysis okay step 1 is data set that is we need to represent our data set here you can see a data set small n features and capital n examples are here okay now its dimension is small n and we have to reduce this dimension to a lower dimension which is less than n okay and step 2 in order to find out the first principal component first we have to find the mean of variables here small n variables are here we have to find mean of each variable that is we have to find first the mean of x1 that is x11 plus x12 plus etc x1n the whole divided by capital n okay the, this is the equation for all features we have to find mean compute the mean of the variables adana second step nu parayunnathu so mean of xi is equal to 1 by n into xi1 plus xi2 plus etc xi n in the third step we have to find the covariance matrix to find covariance matrix first of all we have to write all the ordered pairs of features that is if we have small n features we can write n square ordered pairs suppose if we have only two features x1 and x2 ordered pairs are x1 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 x2 x2 x1 and x2 x2 that is if we have two features n is equal to 2 we can write n square that is four ordered pairs we can write okay now find out covariance of all the ordered pairs xi xj ee oro ordered pairs inde covariance kandupidikkan covariance of each ordered pair is equal to 1 by n minus 1 into sigma k is equal to 1 to n means for each sample we have to sum this value that is x i k minus mean of x i into x j k minus mean of x j after finding the covariance of all ordered pairs construct an n by n matrix s yes, called the covariance matrix ella ordered pairs inde covariance kandupidikka and then e covariance vechittu we can construct an n by n covariance matrix like this okay here s yes, is the covariance matrix and the matrix la oro values ennu parayunnathu oro ordered pairs inde covariance aanu okay now in the fourth step next step la calculate the eigen values and normalize the eigen vectors of the covariance matrix now we have covariance matrix ee covariance matrix inde eigen values kandupidikkanam first of all find out the eigen values and then eigen vectors and then normalized eigen vector ee moonu karyangalana ee step 4 le cheyandathu okay so to find the eigen values first of all we have to find the eigen values of the covariance matrix 
to find the eigenvalues solve the equation determinant of s minus lambda i is equal to 0 here s is the covariance matrix lambda is the root of this equation i is the identity matrix okay when we solve this equation we get the value of lambda 1 lambda 2 etc lambda n and all these lambda values are eigenvalues arrange these eigenvalues such that lambda 1 greater than lambda 2 greater than etc lambda n eigenvalues in a descending order le arrange ya. that is a to large at la eigenvalue lambda 1 at assign to ya. and e largest eigenvalue aana namal first principal component at constrain and second largest eigenvalue arikim second principal component once namak eigenvalues kitti kanyil e oru eigenvalue ni corresponding at eigenvectors kandu pidikana ok so for each eigenvalue we have to find eigenvector this eigenvector is an n by 1 matrix ok so to find eigenvector we have to solve this equation s minus lambda dash i into u is equal to 0 here lambda dash is eigenvalue that is we have here we have to consider each eigenvalue Ibadek, namalu constraint eigenvalue ni corresponding at la eigenvector ani u in the okay uh, and s is the covariance matrix i is the identity matrix okay so e equation solve the kariyumbo namukku ibade namalu koduthikkuna eigenvalue ni corresponding at la eigenvector namukku eigenvector inde values u1 u2 u n nu parayna values namukku equation solve the kariyumbo kittum okay once eigenvectors are critical, next step is to normalize the eigenvector. Okay, that is divide the eigenvector u by its length. E i is equal to u i divided by length of u i. That is here u i in the one another. Ith eigenvalue in the corresponding atla eigenvector. So normalized eigenvector kitanam the mengler eigenvectors ne and the length which divide here. so how to find the length of an eigenvector the length of an eigenvector is equal to root of u1 square plus u2 square plus etc un square that is e eigenvector nathula that is our matrix lola oru values ne square at the sum chayadu root kandu pidi chala namak and the length kittu okay so, E length which the eigenvector na divide in we get the normalized eigenvector. Okay. The unit eigenvector corresponding to the largest eigenvalue is the first principal component. That is, namalu lambda 1 na largest eigenvalue at assume chayu anagila. E lambda 1 in a corresponding eigenvector kit in the normalized eigenvector. That is, E1 in the parandadana in the first principal component. And the last step is to, that is step 5, is to derive new data set. That is, largest eigenvalue in a corresponding eigenvalue, normalized eigenvector on a, our first principal component. This first principal component, we get to know, that is based on the reduced dimensional or the new data set, we will create a new data set. Okay, this is the reduced data set. Here, features in the principal components are here. First principal component PC1, second principal component PC2, etc. Okay. Namukku one dimensional load taana namukku reduce to end of angle. Namukku first principal component maathra constrain the madhi. Okay. Then one example nam adhani corresponding at the values to find out chenam. That is for first principal component we have to find out the values P11, P12, etc. P1N. Adhani contributing an equation on either. Pij. That is, I represent the A the principal component. Okay. For first principal component, I is equal to 1. That is, J in the A the example. So, Pij is equal to EI transpose. EI in the number the normalized eigenvector. That is, transpose. So, Pij is equal to transpose of the normalized eigenvector into a matrix 
that is x1 j minus mean of x1 here x1 in the varayana initially undayirna data set in the features in the mean value on x1 mean mean of x1 varayana okay idu initially undayirna data set in the values on feature in the values on oro sample ipo j de value 1 anengil we consider example 1 j de value 2 anu undengil we consider example 2 okay so e rendu matrix multiply cheyumba we get the value of pij and angane e p11 p12 angane ee data set il ulla oro values namaku kandupidikkan pattu okay so finally we get reduced dimension il ulla oru data set namaku kittu njan parnu namaku first first dimension lot aanu consider cheyyanu ningal one dimension mathram madhi ennundengil we consider only first principal component okay adala two dimension lot aanu namaku reduce cheyyanadengil we consider first principal component and second principal component okay that's all about principal component analysis ini idinte problem varunnundu adu njan next video il edam okay thank you if you understood this topic please like and subscribe thank you